everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. So today's set is a little different for me. I don't ever usually do short nails on myself, but I've decided to do some Builder Gel in a Bottle nails with this pretty watercolor dream catcher design. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Now I did already do two of my nails the night before I recorded this because I just went to have a little play around and practice before I decided whether to do a video or not. I've already done most of the prep and applied my tips so I'm just coming in here with my dehydrator and primer and I was just showing you there that little brown mark on the free edge of my nail is just a splinter hemorrhage that's pretty much grown out now. I had a long set of acrylics on and ripped one of them off when clearing out the shed and yeah that was a little bit of damage I was left with but it's like I said pretty much grown out now so completely safe to work over. And then once I had allowed that primer to dry, I'm coming in with my base coat. So I'm applying a thin layer of this to both of the nails and then I'll pop them in to cure for 60 seconds. I did also, when I applied these tips, I made sure to buff over the surface of them with my file just so that there's not a shiny surface because gel doesn't adhere very well to a shiny surface. And now we're coming in with our builder gel. So I'm applying a really thin layer to begin with and I'm gonna leave this wet as this is our slip layer. I'm making sure to get a nice neat cuticle and just to cover the entire nail. And then I'm gonna pick up a ball of gel on my brush, place it down at that cuticle area and just sort of rock it and move it from side to side to cover the entire nail, leaving sort of the bulk of the product in that center of the nail to build up our structure and apex. Now the build gel I'm using is Premier Gels Build It In A Bottle, but I'm not quite sure if this particular one is actually still available. I purchased this back in 2019 and just didn't really use it because I'm more of an acrylic girl, but I was having a little look on their website and I didn't see it on there, like this particular shade anymore. And then a now tech friend, bless her, she sent me a couple of other Premier Gel builder in a bottles and I noticed their consistency is a lot thicker than this one so I'm not quite sure if maybe they changed their formula I know they rebranded their bottles and things like that but anyway I will still leave the link and the name of the product I use in the description box below just in case it was out of stock or something like that but to be quite honest I found this particular one a little too runny to work with I definitely prefer a thicker gel but I guess things like that are just personal preference. This was still okay to work with. So I have come in and just built up that now a little bit more with the second layer. As you can see, I'm trying to focus the product down the center of the nail, but I'm also just running my brush along the side walls and free edge there just to make sure it's all built up enough. Then I pop that in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And I'm now just gonna come in and use some alcohol to wipe away the tacky layer. And now we're going to move on to the next nail. Hopefully I can sort of talk you through the steps a little bit better now. So again, coming in with that thin slip layer of gel, we'll keep this layer wet. We're not going to cure it so that our ball of gel moves over the nail a lot easier. I'm tilting my finger downwards to make sure I can get a nice neat cuticle area and making sure that none of that product runs back and floods the cuticle. And then I'm coming in with my ball of gel, placing it down at the cuticle area and just using the brush to nudge it from side to side and then gently sort of fading it out at the tip as the product starts to run out. And then I'm just coming in with a little bit more just to build up the apex. Again, doing exactly the same. I don't want to build each layer too thick. This is why I personally prefer working with a thicker gel. But I'm just sort of building up that now a little bit more. I'm running my brush down the center of the nail, trying to get it as smooth and as even as possible. And then I will pop it in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I just felt as though it's still like the previous now needed a little bit more thickness. So I'm just coming in with a slip layer again and then another ball of gel and pretty much just repeating the process. These nails, they don't need to have a huge apex or be too thick because as you can see, they're very, very short. But I just wanted to make sure that there was enough thickness there that I could do all my filing and not remove too much product and stuff like that. But as you can see, this layer is actually quite thin that I'm adding. It's more just building up that apex a tiny bit and creating a more smooth, even nail. Just making sure there's enough there at that free edge and down the side walls. 
and then again I'll pop this into cure for 60 seconds and then we're going to wipe away that tacky layer and the nails are now ready for filing. And then I'm just going to come in and show you guys a filing on one nail. I just showed it on one nail because how I have my setup, I just find it really tricky to file on camera at the moment. But anyway, I'm coming in with a 150 grit file. I opted for a 150 grit because one, this is a new file anyway. And two, I just felt as though a hundred grit would be a little bit too coarse. I haven't got a lot of product to remove and build gel files down really, really easily. So I just felt as though the 150 would do the job, but I'm coming down the side walls around that cuticle area and then up the other side wall, going over the surface of the nail but not taking off too much at that apex area I'm pretty much just refining and contouring the nail and then I'm just coming in and shaping them originally the two nails I did off camera I was going to do a square shape but I just always feel as though square doesn't really suit me so I went for more of a tapered square so I'm just tapering in those sides it would have been a lot easier if I'd decided to do this when applying my tips because then obviously I could have shaped the tips into a tapered square and I wouldn't have as much product to remove but anyway once I had a finished filing I went away and give the nails a good scrub to make sure all of that dust was removed and then we're ready to come in with the design I didn't buff them you want to make sure that there's still a bit of a roughish surface for the gel polish to adhere to so once I had finished filing I didn't buff I just scrubbed away all of the dust with my nail brush and some alcohol and yeah we're ready to move on with the design so I'm using Kiki London's a French wire and I'm just going to apply a first layer of this to all of the nails just a really thin layer for the first coat to begin with I always find gel polish works much better if you do thinner coats so three thin coats would be much better than two thick coats if that makes sense however with the kiki london polishes i always find you only need two thin coats anyway for good coverage so as you can see again tilting that finger downwards so no product seeps back into the cuticle area i'm just using my brush to get a nice neat cuticle this was a little tricky to do on camera as well to be honest and then once I've applied that first layer, I'm going to pop them in to cure for 60 seconds. And then we're going to come in and do the second coat. So applying this pretty much exactly the same, except for on the second coat, I do cap the free edge. Just making sure again, not to get any product on that cuticle or skin. However, if you do, you can remove it with some alcohol before curing. On my channel I do mainly do acrylic designs they are acrylic is my more preferred system to work with however I am really loving playing around with the gel at the moment and I did say in my previous builder gel video that I was looking at trying a couple of different brands simply because builder gel wise I've only tried the premier gel one and a gel when I qualified but I can't remember the brand so yeah I do have my eye on Kiki London's CJP's Bob DMM Beauty also have a builder gel that I'm looking to try so I'm hoping to make Maybe get like one bottle from each brand so I can have a play around maybe do like a little comparison video just to find a gel system that I like so our white gel polish is now cured and I'm just coming in and top coating all of the nails with the Kiki London matte top coat I personally prefer to do the sharpie art over a matte surface and I also like to top coat before doing it just in case anything goes wrong with the sharpie art or if I don't like it it means I can just remove it with some acetone without breaking down any of the gel polish so once the matte top coat had cured, I'm just drawing on some wriggly lines with a purple and pink Sharpie. I'm not really looking to do a marble as such on these nails. I just want that splash of colour to look to have that watercolour effect, if that makes sense. So I'm just simply drawing on some wriggly lines and going to disperse the ink with some alcohol. I did do a very similar design on my Glamour Liz hand in blue and yellow. And a couple of people said they'd like to see it in pink and purple. Purple is my favourite colour, so I thought if I was going to do it again, I would do it on myself. But I've only showed you guys doing it on two nails, simply because it's very similar to a previous video. So I will leave that video linked in the description box below, as that just goes into a little bit more in depth of how I did the design, and a little bit more detailed. My three-year-old at this point had also woke up and decided to come get involved. So I just sort of wanted to get the video finished. <laughs> 
As you can see, I just come in with a little bit more color. I wanted it to have a little bit more purple. And again, doing the exact same. You can create so many different designs like this. You can get a more defined marble. You can add less alcohol or more alcohol. So it's something really fun to play around with. So I did exactly the same on the remaining nails. And now we're going to come in and add the stamping. So I'm using this amazing Dreamcatcher plate from Born Pretty. As you can see, I think it's called BPL100. And then I'm just using my Nicole's Diary Black Stamping Polish. I apply a generous amount to the image, scrape once, and then simply roll my stamper over the surface. And off screen here, I'm just using my lint roller to take away any of that excess image that I don't want on there. And then simply positioning it and stamping it was a little tricky doing this on shorter nails i'm so used to working on longer nails that i was kind of a bit like um how am i fitting the design on but i was quite pleased with how they turned out so then just cleaning off that plate with some acetone and i'm going to repeat the process on the next nail Again, there are a few more detailed stamping videos up on my channel, so I will try and find one and leave it linked in the description box below. But if you do have any questions, you can pop them in the comments and I will get back to you. Off camera, I then finished off the stamping on the remaining three nails. I really liked the feather designs on those two. They really helped tie in with the dream catchers because I didn't want every nail to look the same. And I'm then going to come in and top coat. I'm top coating today with the Kiki London No Wipe Glossy Top Coat. So I'm just going to apply a nice even layer of this to all of the nails. And then I'll pop them in to cure for 60 seconds. Once I had top coated off camera, I did also as well clean off any of that image that you can see on the skin. So I like to do this after top coating now, to be honest, because I just find once they're top coated, everything's protected by that layer of top coat so it's a lot easier to clean off anything that is on the skin with some acetone especially with stuff like stamping polish and then once the top coat had cured and I'd allowed it to cool down for a minute or two I then come in and apply some cuticle oil to all of my nails just to re-nourish them after the treatment and guys that is the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed this design it's pretty simple and easy to do but hopefully it was still fun to watch if you do have any requests pop them in the comments below and I will give them a go. If you enjoyed the video, then please let me know your thoughts in the comments below or give the video a thumbs up. And if you're watching and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you considered hitting subscribe. I shall see you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.